Welcome to Real Vision's Trade Ideas. Today we're sitting down with Tom Bruni of allstarcharts.com. Great to have you here. Thanks for having me, Justine. So what are you looking at to trade today? Today we're focused on palladium, and the reason for that is it continues to show relative strength versus the rest of the precious metal space and commodities in general. What do you see going on with commodities overall? Yeah, so one of the measures I use is an equally weighted basket of all the commodities across energy, agricultural, and metals. And it's essentially gone nowhere for the last two and a half, three years. And so that's telling us that commodities as a group have kind of been in no man's land and not really that actionable. So what's sticking out to you about palladium? Is it just relative strength? Yeah, taking a step back, um, within commodities, there are trends that are kind of intact. If you look at energy, um, that's been performing well. Crude oil, heating oil, gasoline, those have been trending well. Um, but then if you look at agricultural commodities like you know, cotton, sugar, soybeans, they've been all over the place and, and trending lower. Actually, if you look at the exchange traded fund DBA that tracks them, it hit a new all time low um, just recently. So that space continues to struggle. And then metals have been a mixed bag. You know, you look at gold and silver, they've gone basically nowhere. Platinum has been trending lower and is now trying to find its footing. But palladium has been the standout. It continues to trend higher uh, in the face of all these headwinds uh, for the commodity space in general. Palladium itself has been kind of on a wild ride over the past year. So it was soaring last year, and then in March it took a pretty big hit. Where do you see that going right now? And are there big risks in terms of major swings? Well, we've liked Palladium for a long time. Like I said, uh, since 2016, it's been one of the few commodities that's trending out there, and we've taken advantage of that trend. So when we came into the beginning of the year, we're starting to see sentiment pick up. We're seeing a lot more people on Twitter, uh, on the street, putting out notes about Palladium. So it was starting to finally get some traction. And that's kind of when we knew that the trend was probably close to being over um, than just beginning. And so prices were reaching our uh, close to reaching our upside objective near 1645 when momentum put in a bearish momentum divergence. And what that basically means is buyers are less aggressive at those higher levels. And so that was a signal to us that we should probably be taking profits, which we did, and stepping aside and seeing how things develop. And as you mentioned, you know, prices broke down pretty hard from that level, but I still think the structural trend is higher. So I think this correction has led to a um, pretty attractive entry on the long side. So would you get into palladium at current levels? 1330 is my level. Um, that was a former price target that we had on the way up. You know, prices. Um, act, that acted as resistance on the way up. They consolidated for a bit before they broke out. And now on the downside, they're working as support. And so the bearish momentum divergence that we're seeing at the top in March, we're kind of seeing the flip side of that. We're seeing a bullish momentum divergence as prices come into support. So prices broke below that 1330 level, hung out there for a day or two, and then quickly reversed, trapping all of those sellers below it. And now because prices aren't getting back below it, they're getting frustrated. They need to start covering their shorts. They need to get back long if, uh, if they had sold below that level. And so I think that's a catalyst to uh, take prices higher. What would be your time horizon on this? This is a shorter term trade. This is like one to three months. Um, the thing I like about this trade is you're going to know very quickly if it's going to work or not. Fail breakdowns are supposed to be an explosive type of setup where you know prices break down traps a bunch of sellers and buyers, and then once we get back above that le level, we're off to the races, we can get back to the all-time highs near 1625. So what's the catalyst to get to that price target? The catalyst is actually the flip side of what we saw in March. So there we saw a bearish momentum divergence and a failed breakout. Now we are seeing a bullish momentum divergence and a failed breakdown. So prices got below support, uh, quickly reversed back above them, confirming that failed breakdown, uh, trapping buyers and sellers below that level, and now uh, we are trying to resolve that consolidation higher. What are some of the biggest risks to this trade? Are, are you concerned at all about palladium being overvalued relative to something like platinum? Potentially. Again, I'm a technical analyst, so I'm not really concerned with the fundamentals. Really what I'm seeing here is relative strength versus the rest of the metal space. So I think the biggest risk to the trade is that metals in general resolve these consolidations to the downside and palladium is dragged with them. All right, so how do you see dollar strength playing into this? Yeah, so common sense would kind of tell you stronger dollar means lower metals. But if you actually look at the correlation over the last year or so, it's broken down. So it's not really playing as much of a role uh, as one would expect it to. 
Um, with that being said, correlations change all the time, so it's something I'm monitoring, but it's not really a risk factor on my radar right now, uh, simply because the relationship hasn't been there in uh, quite some time. Uh, for me, it's more about the ability of uh, the other precious metals to catch a bit as well and start heading higher. I think that's the bigger risk factor than uh, the U.S. dollar. All right, can you summarize this trade in 30 seconds? So we're getting long palladium at current levels. We are going to stay long if prices are above 1330 on a closing basis and we are targeting 1625, which is its former all-time highs, uh, over the next one to three months. Great. Tom, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. So Tom is bullish on palladium. Specifically, he suggests entering the trade at current levels with a stop loss at a daily close of 1330. His target price is 1625 over the next one to three months. Just remember this is a trade idea and not investment advice. You should do your own research, consider your risk tolerance, and invest accordingly. For Real Vision, I'm Justine Underhill.